Hello and welcome to the mill. I have a new package here from Stonemeyer Games. I wonder what it could be. What do you say we find out together, shall we? Try not to cut anything. All right, so far so good. Ooh, what is this? Wingspan. European expansion. All right. Look at that box. That is pretty slick. I like that. That is very cool looking. Um, it's much smaller than the Wingspan box. I guess that's to be expected. I, I guess I wouldn't say much smaller. I guess I would imagine if you put another one right here, it'd be just like Wingspan. Maybe maybe about the same height as the Tapestry box, just looking from a distance. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see what's in here. I'm, I, can, I, I made sure I was not looking at the bottom of the, of the box there because I want to be surprised. I want to find out what's in here when you guys do, or I guess we'll probably find out with Jamie videos, but um, we can do this here together. Let's uh, let's take a look at like that how that wing art kind of kind of wraps around the box here. Um, and again, I don't want to I don't want to see the back. So there's I'm sure some of you know exactly what these birds are, but I am not one of those people. Well, that kind of just looks like a raven to me, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and slide this up here. All right. We have the European Instruction Expansion, or European Expansion Instruction, rather. Um, let me get that on camera for you. Um, it shows that there are some more egg miniatures. Oh, they're deep purple this time. I like that. There's a cust another tray, another insert there. We got another another box for eggs. Actually, a couple boxes. So that's nice because you know that's that's always been a concern for for some folks is is um you know being able to get all those egg tokens and all that stuff. So adding more eggs certainly is going to cause um you know those egg storage containers to fill up. So that is a nice inclusion there from Stonemaier. And this one here, Eastern Imperial Eagle. Now, the first thing I noticed right here is we have EE. I would imagine that's for the European expansion. And we also see that, look at that food cost. That's interesting. So there's a little star over that rodent. And that's a wind played. This thing's huge. 200 centimeter wingspan. I mean, it is an Imperial Eagle. So that's a win played card. Um, look at that, that's that's new too. Um, this looks like Automa, the end of round goals. So I don't know if that's extra, like a new game mode or if that's just Automa. Oh, look at that, that's a, a round end card. So that is a choose one other player for each action cube on their grasslands, cash one food out of any type of food supply on any of your birds. Okay, that's that's really cool. Pika Pika. Hmm, this sounds like a Pokemon expansion. Uh, <laughs> wonder if we could ever get one of those. I mean, I'm not into Pokemon. I'm not opposed to it. It's just that was a little after me. Um, these are. The, the purple eggs here and those are nice looking uh, just like the other ones it looks to have the same kind of texture as, as the other eggs I like that we have uh, multiplayer uh, ooh ooh we have Automa score sheets how cool is that Automobon 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 so yeah, look at that you can get f three games on each one of these uh, score sheets that is cool. I like that double-sided use. I wonder if uh, Jamie will be making these available on the store. Maybe 
by the time I can show you this video, it will be. We got another. I appreciate Stonemeyer for this so much because some companies do not give us enough baggies. And boy, I guess I should be careful with that um, since we're trying to get away from baggies a little bit, I guess. That is nice. But anyway, I'll, I'll just continue my statement. I have games that need bags, and those bags are nice to have. That's that's my statement on that. I like this dual purple look. I think that's really cool, and I think my girls are going to love this. Um, set that right here. And let's see our cardboard here. Our punch board. We have some new end-around goals here. Is what it looks like anyway. Um, there's an end around reference. More food tokens. Let's see if there's something different on the back. Yeah, I mean, we should have different end around goals. Or this could be, like I said, it could be a new game mode too. So these might not be end around goals at all. But I mean, it kind of looks like it. Filled columns, uh, bird cards with no eggs, food costs of played birds. So that that is cool i mean those seem like kind of simple changes but i i like that i'm gonna go ahead and i guess i could flip through the instructions but i kind of want to break into one of these packs here and see if there's there's anything new and oh good man i'm sometimes i'm just really bad at getting these card packs open and you know i don't know if it's me or if it's you know, the people that are, if it's me or if it's just that some of these things are just packaged crazy hard. Um, see what I mean? Like I got all, all excited that, ooh, maybe this is going to go well for me. And then, <laughs> and then it doesn't. Um, let's see here. Okay. That side came off. There we go. Progress. Slide that stuff aside here. Um, Imperial Eagle, Benelli's Eagle. Mon you know what you guys know how these are pronounced i'm sure better than me common buzzard those are when played oh look at that art that red kite diving down that's pretty cool um these are once between turns that round end that color is really sharp too um man just when you think that that it can't get prettier like Jamie and and you know the artists and let's give it to the artist really I mean they just you think it can't get prettier and then it does and here we have some new look at that we have an Automa one that's cool the Automa keeps up to two of them first um I, should, I mean I really should be doing a little uh a little better job of uh making sure that this stuff's on camera it seems like the Automa got an upgrade in this I don't know if that's just appearances or if that's legitimate, um, but I'm getting excited to open up this rule book. I don't know if, uh, if you know, I'm just going to open up this one too because I'm excited, okay? Um, Magpie, Carrion Crow. So these are, these are all that new round end. Okay. If you're a little bit 11 year old like I am, you probably were like saw these cards in a row and kind of like grinned a little bit because like I said, you're 12. Um, oh, the Kingfisher. That is such a pretty bird, isn't it? Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad I, I get that in, in, uh, in my expansion. Now this little owl. Okay, so when I was looking for teasers in the art, this is one that I had seen this picture of this happy little cricket. And I don't know how well that'll that'll photograph there, but like it was a happy little cricket, whatever kind of bug that is. Um, that was already out on Instagram. It's just kind of like a, oh, just a teaser. And you couldn't tell enough. And I wasn't going to look through all of the existing wingspan art to see if, you know, maybe that was new. Obviously it was. Um, so... I'll just go through these real quick because why not? And those are round ends. Um, maybe you can find out if you're... That's a pretty one too. Maybe you can find if your favorite European bird made the cut. Blue throat. That's a pretty one too. See, that's this is the extent of, of my knowledge of birds, right? 
I want to be able to look at the birds around me and go, oh, that's a this, that's a that. But all I end up with is, that's a pretty bird. <laughs> that's a pretty bird. Okay. I thought that said little bastard. Sorry if, if that language offends you. Um, <laughs> that's, that's just what I thought I saw there. Um, so, so cool. I am excited to get these. And there's another one with this, with that star on there. I'm curious what that means. Um, so I'm going to set these down too. You know, and this is plenty big enough for this expansion. I wonder if the next, next expansion will be just cards or if we can plan on getting one of these in every expansion going forward. Let's, let's take a look at this, at this instruction book. I know Jamie's probably already showed this at this point. Um, Oh, there it does right there say that the scorecard is multiplayer on one side and solo on the other. I thought it was a little odd that it said multiplayer, but then when I saw the other side, you know, that made total sense. Some birds have a some birds have a star on the cost. This is to indicate that they have an alternative cost noted in text on the card. See hunting and fishing powers. Okay. So So that's cool. That's cool. New end of round goals. There are some setup changes. Oh no, it just says the only change is to place the reference tile near the goal mat. All right. Initial setup. Shuffle the expansion bird cards in with all other bird cards. Do the same with the bonus cards. They're designed so the percentages still apply. Mix in additional eggs. All right. Well, I'm going to flip through this. Um, we still have this nice, like kind of appendix that the other one had. Um, we can see their different egg laying powers, card drawing powers, and just beautiful art throughout. I mean, that is wingspan, whether you find it too light or right up your alley. Like, I don't think there can be any argument about the quality of art in this game. It is just spectacular. If you had told me that I would be such a big fan of a bird game, like, a year and a half ago, I'd have said, it must be some kind of game, for sure, because I, I just, I, I wouldn't have guessed, but Wingspan has certainly, you know, caught my attention. So, a little bit of credit there, looks like, to the, to the photographers, that's a very cool touch, um... Oh, that's, no, the artist, um, Natalia and uh, Anna, they both sell their art uh, separately. So that was nice of Jamie to go ahead and mention that you can buy original prints. So that is the unboxing, a very lengthy unboxing, I guess. I apologize if that was more than you were wanting, but I guess you can always run me through it 2x or mute me and just run it through super quick. Um, that's an option too. So that is the expansion for wingspan um i was going to go ahead and do a reboxing for you but i'm gonna i'm gonna look through these cards a little bit more um thank you so much for checking this out um that is that cover again i think that was oh if i was paying better attention snow owl snowy owl great owl awesome owl whatever whatever it is this wingspan european expansion is very pretty. I am looking forward to getting this to the table. Until next time, y'all take care. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.